What's going on guys, Bilsh55 back with another video. As you can see we're just loading into uh, ETS2 now as we speak. Um, this video is more of a uh, <coughs> test, like a quality test, um, because what you'll probably notice with this video is that um, I'm using NVIDIA Shadowplay um, and the quality I'm hoping will be a lot more crisper and also the fact that um, you know, you know the webcam is is uh, it, it's slightly different in proportions as it what it would be if I was say using <coughs> Streamlabs OBS. So there's that. Um, also, guys, just secondly as a side note, but also kind of a big announcement. Um, if I didn't mention it already, which I'm pretty sure I have done anyways. As you can probably notice, I'm uh, using the track IR now, um, and nothing's happening in game at the minute because I've got the track IR paused. Um, but this video is sort of just a a, a quality test, if you will, um, you know, just to test the quality because if it's honestly if it's that much better than Streamlabs, I may potentially use Shadowplay as the alternative. Um, truthfully, guys, because <clears throat> Um, I just straight up, I wasn't happy with uh, the um, what's the word? I wa I'm I wasn't happy with the quality I was getting off of uh, Streamlabs OBS, and I don't know why, guys. But e even when I'm using Shadowplay, like I'm looking at my my movements when I'm doing all this sort of stuff with my hands, and it genuinely it's a lot more fluid. Whereas in Streamlabs OBS, it it was still kind of stuttered. It wasn't quite as fluid as what I can see on the screen here. So we're going to give that a shot. Um, I guess we'll stay in the uh, UK, seeing as we're in a right-hand drive scan here. We are only on the um, <clears throat> automatic today, guys. So there is that. Right, we'll just get... Um, right, oh, God. Okay, so let's get that. Perfect. Right, um back it off a bit here. We'll get our um we will get our uh middle lift raised. Um one thing I haven't checked is the audio guys I'm afraid. Um oh but there's our uh there's our loads that made that easy then. Oh. TV's just threatening to turn itself off there guys, bear with. Okay. Right. <coughs> so, um yeah. I will say the track IR makes a massive difference. A massive, massive difference to uh how I play this game to be honest. One thing I will do though is um Sort of interrupting the stream here, if you will. Put my owl. Oh, that. Oh, wow. Okay. That'll do for the time being. I'm done. Okay. And come out of that. Right, okay. Uh, oops, now we want to back up. Now, believe it or not guys, this is actually my second attempt at recording this because the first time, for some reason, uh, Shadowplay there we go, wasn't picking up um, wasn't picking up the webcam. Right, just quickly do a tub test here. Yep, we are in the last few days. Right, um, we're 16 tons, 15 tons. We'll get the middle lift down, get all attached up to it. Um, yeah, for some reason, for whatever reason, the um, <coughs> the um, webcam wasn't being detected by GeForce. All I had to do was simply um, unplug it, plug it back in. Works a treat now, um, as you can see. Right, we'll just quickly uh, show you the truck um, along with our load. So we've got these low boy trailers. 
And this is our truck, it's a new generation scanner, guys. It's got the rear working part along with reversing lights, so I've got good scene, uh, good scene lighting, if, if you will, uh, when hooking up. <coughs> and all round good visibility. Um, got house lights as well. So the indicator lights work consistently throughout. So, the, sorry, the indicators, the marker lights act as indicator lights as well. Moving to the front, we've got the uh, all the gubbins, the uh, front, uh, sorry, the full beam at the front, um, as well as. Sorry, guys, bear with me. Hats just see. Oh god, track layouts come off. So we're gonna have to reset that in a minute then. Um, and then we've got also the marker lights and the uh, grill lights, as you can see there, below for some reason the ball bar is blocking it, that's not to worry guys. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and make sure we're all, yeah we're still kosher, so let's uh, have enough getting, the, uh, sorry we'll finish babbling on about uh, the truck. And we're, we shall make a move to, um, uh, where are we going again guys? Someone remind me. On the right. Ken Ryan. Oh, I can't remember the name of the house. That is due then guys for Wednesday evening. And it is now Wednesday morning? Tuesday evening, sorry. Okay, so we're going to be doing a night job guys. Not to worry too much. Hey guys, when I first, because I used to do NVIDIA Shadow Play just before I came off of YouTube, um, I was testing the streaming software for it and everything like that, obviously came off of YouTube, did my own thing for a bit, and um, coming back to YouTube, I was looking about, completely forgot about Shadow Play, and um, used Streamlabs OBS, and um, <coughs> truthfully, I am... Um, between the two, if I'm honest, guys, just simply for the fact that although Streamlabs' quality isn't great, it um, it uh, it has all the practical functions. Like all I did was download the Streamlabs OBS app to my tablet, and now I've got Stream Deck and well, stuff like that, which is brilliant. Um, but then with Nvidia, just the quality just outrivals the Outrival stream up in so many ways, and it's like, well, yeah, you could you could do some tweaking and such and like uh, for stream labs because, well, ultimately it's it, it's more used primarily as a stream tool rather than a recording tool, which is obviously recording is primarily what I do. So could I use it too? Well, yeah, potentially. Um, truthfully, yeah. And um, the issue being is that. Um, the issue being is that obviously I don't want to be split between some videos which are really great quality from Shadowburn and some which are kind of you know not so great from Streamlabs. And like I say, if I could find the quality settings which literally rivals the settings that I'm getting off of Shadowplay, I genuinely um, it would be no competition for me. I would go with Streamlabs as a uh, as a, as a main uh, software for recording, genuinely would. Um, obviously, it's the fact that it's uh, not on, not so great, which obviously it, it, it's um, yeah, it just I I don't know the sheer quality I get off of shadow. Something else when it comes 
to um, when it comes to reporting. I mean, ju just the sheer um, the sheer performance as well. Like the webcam movement is fluid. I'm getting little to no frame drops. Um, well, I'm not getting any frame drops actually. I'm holding steady at 60, 61 FPS. So yeah, um, so yeah, pros and cons then. Um, <clears throat> pros for Nvidia Shadowplay just out out rivals and outperforms every other recording software I've ever used. Period. Um, you know, to the point where there is literally no argument as to which which could be better in, in Shadowplay every single time. Cons. Um, I have to go back to using a keyboard. Not a massive deal breaker, to be honest. Um, you know, it, it's just somewhere I can assign my hot keys and uh, change that up. Change that up, really. Um, yeah, honestly, not 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 a deal breaker for me. Having to move back to a keyboard. Um, you know, it's nice to have the tablet there as a stream deck, but truthfully, it's. It, Pros to Streamlabs OBS. Overall, I find better functionality with obviously the tablets to stream deck. Cons to it, quality isn't great, um, and the frames do drop consistently. Sometimes we just had some performance issues and hiccups that you know you think, well, where's that come from? Um, and I mean, that, that's all I can really think of, guys. I'm keeping it. I could nitpick, but I'm going to keep it simple because. Yeah, this is one of those things where do I go with NVIDIA or do I go with Streamlabs? So if you guys want to check my videos, ETS2 videos between, um, or sorry, not between, before this, um, please be my guest and, you know, just uh, have two videos open in a tab. Obviously, you mute one of them because I know it can drive something great and having two videos, audio going up at once. But yeah, have two videos open in this tab and uh, do a comparison, guys, see what you think. Um, I, I personally am swaying towards NVIDIA. If I get the keybinds done and everything like that, it's, it's, it's a non-starter for me, guys. It, it really is, to be honest. I apologise for moving my head quite a lot. Um, I'm trying to look at the webcam as in look at you guys, and then I'll, I'm still getting used to the fact that, oh, you know, I've still got the track I are on, so, yeah. But, um... Yeah, let me know in the comments, guys. Please let me know because I'll be honest. Um, I kind of want to stay with Streamlabs, and I know that sounds absolutely balmy considering the quality I'm getting off of this. I know it really does sound uh, bonkers, but um, <coughs> yeah, it, it, it's just like. With Streamlabs, it's just like you just edit your audio level then and there, and it's like brilliant. That, that's all I need to do to worry about it. Um, I think maybe if I um, if I had a profiler or something which I could use, or a spare keyboard or something, I, I don't know, like a macro keyboard, if you will, so that I press a button and it links to a hotkey or something, or links to a keybind, which then um, activates, deactivates my webcam, uh, does my audio levels, and stuff like that, like some sort of, you know, dedicated function controls. Then, yeah, I think I'll be golden with this, um, but, yeah, I, um, I truthfully don't know, guys. Um, <coughs> this, um, This shadow play software is honestly hard to beat. In fact, when is this due by? Got to right. You know what? Sod it. I'm gonna pull in here. I'm gonna put my head down so you can actually see during the day the kind of um, you know the, the, the kind of uh, quality that we're looking at because I appreciate it with them. Nighttime quality is probably not the best. 
Sorry guys, just getting a Snapchat from some folks. Right. Even like even the quality of the steering wheel, like the level of the steering wheel, is insane. And the thing is with shadow play is that the resolution automatically adjusts to whatever the um, to whatever the um, in-game resolution is, which Streamlabs doesn't you have to have a base resolution. Um, so yeah, it, it's just there's so many pros and cons to this, um, it's unreal, and I am starting to nitpick now, but I might as well go just over Sorry, just under 10 hours. What the hell? Who leaves a bucket there? Um, we've got just under 10 hours to go for this journey, so now I might as well uh, get into it, guys. I'll let you make, make your own mind up. I know the functionalities of each, um, each software, so to speak. I personally think that if I got used to Shadowplay a little bit more, I think Shadowplay would be slow to take on the Streamlabs, in all honesty. Shadowplay is by far brilliant, and the fact that obviously it's run by NVIDIA, you do these graphics cards, so it's going to be optimised um, for, uh, for these sorts of uh, cards anyways. Um, <coughs> But um, I think, um, oh god, I, I've lost my train of thought now, guys, I had it. Yes, yeah, sorry, track IR. Slowly getting used to track IR as well. I think I'm going to have to do some, I don't know, some sort of tweaking with the sensitivity. Um, just due to the fact that, um, you know, it's still a bit jerky in some areas. In fact, yeah, I've... Yeah, it, it's very jerky. Um, at the minute, it, it, it's kind of frustrating because the tracker receiver is actually at the top of my TV, which is mounted to the wall. But that is a good, maybe just over a meter um, from me, whereas usually from the monitor, it's roughly about 30, 40 centimeters from your face. So I think there's a bit of a performance issue there, and I may need to um, find somewhere a bit better to um, house my track IR. Alternatively, I'm probably going to be getting a clip. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm probably going to be getting the uh, clip, the uh, pro clip, which you just put inside your headset, and then um, that does the rest for you as such. But yeah, even when I'm looking at my controller, you see my guy start looking out the window, and it's awkward because my steering wheel gear stick set up, obviously set up for a left-hand drive as well, and to have this truck as a right-hand drive, it's throwing me off massively, actually, guys. Like, I'm slowly getting used to it now, but um, I think I will revert back to a left-hand drive. As nice as it is to have a right-hand drive, which it genuinely is, um, I'm too used to left hand drives, and also I'm finding that when I am doing the over the shoulder and everything like that, um, I'm actually struggling to line the truck up with the trailer when I'm hooking up because, um, basically guys, my right eye is my dominant eye and my left eye is my weak eye, my right eye is long sighted and my left eye is short sighted. Um, and obviously with my left eye being my weak eye, if I'm looking over my shoulder like that, I'm looking, oops, I'm looking out of my left eye. Probably shouldn't be doing it, looking over my shoulder while I'm driving, but uh, yeah. So, I mean, that that's just a massive issue for me. Um, in that, um, yeah, it, 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 struggle, it, it does make me struggle a lot. Um, Um, 
yeah, it does it does make me struggle a lot when it comes to uh, this is getting ridiculous now. I'm just gonna oh no, he chooses to go. ETS2 videos ago. So that's a good way to measure time, isn't it? Um, a couple of ETS2 videos ago, um, when I came back to YouTube, I was saying, oh, I've got this brilliant idea for this gaming setup that I've got in my head and stuff. Um, I will be showing it to you guys. It's now in the finalisation process. As I'm recording this, it's the 26th of November on a Tuesday. And um, I've got the oh, um, I've, um, I've got near enough everything set now. Um, I've got a, another desk which is going to be ordered um, within the next week or two, um, and then that's basically going to share some real estate with my current gaming setup. At which point, in fact, if I just pause this right now, <clears throat> at the minute. You guys, are, this this is the set. This is the setup. So I've got a big monitor here. I know that is, and then obviously the gaming thing with the track IR all the way up there. Now, um, appreciate that. See, this is one thing with Streamlabs. I could just full screen the webcam, and that would be it. It's brilliant in that in that respect. Um, but yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but. What I'll be doing is turning it into a corner setup, and one of the things that will be happening is um, we'll um, we'll be getting a backdrop put in, which will have the Village 55 gaming logo on it. Oh, Jesus! I'm in the wrong way. Um, you know, there will be a backdrop for that, which Kimberly. Um, is doing um, because she's just an artistical genius when it comes to this sort of stuff. Um, I just had the idea, she made it a reality as such. So that's going to be getting be getting done hopefully this Saturday, um, and then once that's done, um, literally all we've got left to do is. Uh, and get the new desk in and then it will literally be probably a day maximum of downtime where I will be rejigging stuff around and you know, I'll be unplugging near enough the whole computer, monitors coming off the desk, everything like that, sound systems, I'll be revising my cable management on my setup system which you can have a look at and get on there for on my Instagram at level 55 shameless self advertising sorry not sorry um, but you can get a general feel for how my cable management and my setup is on my Instagram guys so please do give it a follow I really appreciate it as well as the fact you will be my Instagram is sort of is a behind the scenes look into the YouTube channel and these recordings uh, stuff like that <coughs> Anyways, moving on. So, 
Um, yeah, that, that, that will be getting done and uh, my aim to get this done by is before Christmas, um, potentially. Uh, I've got a week off in, uh, on the 9th, sorry, not a week off as such, but I've got a week away where I'm going to be doing, uh, I guess that goes to limb services, yeah, there's limb services on the radar. I've actually done this junction in real life, guys, so I'm just reminiscing a bit. Um, I've got a week away on the 9th of December where I am renewing my CPC course, which is the Certificate of Professional Competence. It's something that every truck driver in the UK and I think Europe uh, needs to go through. And it's basically just, um, truthfully guys, in my, in my eyes, my view on it is it's just basically a waste of money to stop the government from shitting themselves, thinking that we haven't learned what was given to us and what was taught to us in the theory test to become a truck driver. Um, and in that respect, um, uh, it, it, it's annoying because it's just the CPC is just so easy. Um, you know, you're, you're always going to pass it. It's gone to the point where the instructors will literally walk you through the test. It, it's nothing like exam conditions kind of thing. It's, you know, multiple choice. Like, li literally a monkey could pass a CPC course. It's that easy. Um, and the worst bit about it is that, and this is why I have my view on it, for something that is so easy to pass and such a joke, or oh, sorry, it is a joke, that I am paying 304 quid, I'll say that again, 304 Great British Pounds to get this course renewed. Um, but it is mandatory. I have to have my CPC course completed um, to be able to be employed by Borlias, uh, logistics companies, transport companies rather. Yeah, and the thing with that is that it's, uh, <coughs> CPC needs to be done. Um, either you can either do it once a year for a day, or uh, you can do um, do it every five years for a week. I do it every five years for a week, and this is the first time I've had to renew it. Um, so yeah, I've been doing truck driving now for well, coming over five years actually. Um, since I first got it, <coughs> but yeah, other than, other than that, guys, um, that, that's that's uh, that's just a little heads up into how trucking, at least in the UK, works. Um, what else? What else? Oh, yeah, there's also this thing going on with Copper, uh, the Child Online Privacy Protection Act, um, and the FTC and YouTube somehow selling content creators down the drain. Truthfully guys, um, I feel pretty laid back about it. A lot, of you, a lot of YouTube is potentially exploding over, or imploding over this thing. Um, and I genuinely, I do feel their, feel their um, ang anger towards this. I'm massively pissed off at it, but I'm not gonna get myself worked up until it, once it's in effect we actually do see how it's affecting us. Um, I've already looked at YouTube alternatives if this does have massive impact on me um, and uh, alternative platforms such as DTube um, to uh, you know to, to um, carry on my channel if you will. Um, but with that being said um, me and Justin did have a good old chinwagon rant about it because it was, is so frustrating that something like this can happen when uh, essentially YouTube has become a babysitting tool and you have a YouTube kids section and yet the rest of YouTube uh, is now paying the price, like we are paying the price for something that um, we have essentially, in my eyes, no real control over. Um, 
But like I say, um, I will wait to see for, or read further into uh, what goes on and I'll wait for events to unravel before I make my uh, decision. Like I said, I've got, I've got things prepared if I do need to move. Then that's absolutely fine, I will do. But until I see how much of an impact it has on YouTube, um, I will be staying firmly put. Um, because truthfully, it takes a lot more than this to, uh, you know, get, get me to start get my legs uh, on my knees wobbling. Rather, God, that sounds so wrong. Ugh. Forget I said that, guys. Ugh. But. Um, yeah, no, but basically it, it takes a lot for me to get my um, get myself in a twist about it. Uh, but uh, yeah, so anyway, it's coming back to the original topic, guys. Um, please let me know what you think of Nvidia and stuff because now, like. Oh, sorry, the Shadow Play software because obviously once 1.36 dropped for ATS2, I know it's already dropped for ATS2 actually. ATS2, there it is. Um, ATS, um, actually, I should have done this on ATS, I've done the Utah DLC. The next video will be the Utah DLC, guys. In fact, I'll do the Utah DLC video for um, when the gaming setup is redone. So, no more ATS until. After Saturday, after um, I think that'll be the first, thirty first or first. I don't know. I don't know. Oh god. Um, but yeah, that until after that Saturday. At which point, you know, I'll do a quick showcase of the new gaming setup and any future plans. Which I don't get me wrong. Once I've got the gaming set up as I like it, that's when I'm going to start adding peripherals in, such as, you know, a new keyboard and all that sort of uh, lava. Um, but until then, yeah, I'm just going to uh, chill out and keep it as it is um, for the time being anyways, guys. It's, uh, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. I think you guys will enjoy what, uh, what's to come. If, if 
if I want to see if I can't fix what the streamlabs, like what my streamlab settings are and all that, um, then yeah, I'll probably look to. Uh, oops, I'll probably look to um, Shadowplay because the, the quality and everything like that is just so much better. It's unreal. It really is actually. version 6.0 I think he's on now at the minute. I could be wrong, could be well out of uh, scope there actually, I haven't checked the mod for some time now. But uh, he actually, I'm, I'm, quite, I'm quite a fan of the uh, Scandalous truck table in particular. Um, but he does truck tables for all truck mates guys, uh, he's got one for the AT range, Volvo, MAN, all sorts. Um, so, I'd, I'd uh, definitely Consider it if you're looking at the new truck table mod to download as such, guys. Um, word of warning though is that he is currently in the he is currently making uh, the rest of the right hand drive ones. Like he's got Scania down, and I think he has Renault down. But I think in regards to you know Volvo and all the other truck makes, he's still making the right hand drive version of those just because. Let, let's face it guys, the left hand drive version in um, ETS2 is so much... Oh god, that was off. Jeez, that was off. Um, here's me getting distracted. Um, but yeah, let's face it, the left hand drive models of trucks are so much more popular than the right hand drive. Um, it, this is to be fair, this is my first time back in the UK on ETS2 in quite some time, especially all the way up here in Scotland. Um, I did Ireland and Wales earlier, when I first tried to record this video, I did Dublin, and I did from Barcelona to Dublin, sorry, France to Dublin, I think it was Paris, uh, Paris to Dublin, then I recorded from Dublin to uh, Cardiff, and then um, that, that recording didn't work, so I had to put you in the webcam. Um, but yeah, now I'm doing uh, now I'm doing it a second time, and I've now done uh, from Ireland to Wales, and now from Wales to Scotland. So that's pretty neat, to be fair. Oh, dude, we've just added so much more time onto our journey. What on earth? Oh, well, I. So much. Um, 
but if you think I should stay in Civ, by all means, give me a couple of, couple of ideas and uh, all that good stuff, and uh, yeah, I'll see what I can do. Um, obviously, depending on whether the rules allow it in SAF and such like that. Um, I'm, a C2, I'm now a C2, so I've been promoted from C1, but uh, I'm still. I still have a certain amount of restrictions on me as to what I can and can't do. SCS got jokes releasing 69 plates as well now, the brand new number plates. Well, at least they can be with the game, I suppose.
bit funny how those like Ford Mustangs have somehow become more popular in the UK as well when before they were really only seen as an American uh, as an American like I don't know trademark car. Um, yeah now they are like they are definitely getting like certainly the newer models of Mustangs anyway they are ever more popular. Here in the UK now for the sort of, uh, which is just, I mean, I, I think it's awesome to be honest. They are great cars, they really are. Very, uh, they're stylish, they look good. Um, personally, I wouldn't buy one myself. Um, not, like, not anything against the Mustang, um, but one, it, it wouldn't really be practical for my needs. And two, even if it was, I couldn't afford it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Hey, at least I'm honest, guys. <laughs> you know, I can think of a fair few people who, who could only dream of affording a uh, Ford Mustang uh, here in the UK. Let's get the lights on this. It's almost seven now. basically 30 miles north of Inverness, um, not um, a million miles away, but that uh, took me a good three days to get there and back, and that was from the pole, so yeah, it was a, it was a fair old trek, a fair old mission, um, and then the A75 was towards Dunfreeze, Freeze, I believe, um, going to Strathross there was to a wind farm uh, where we were delivering the um, sort of like the base uh, the bases for the tall windmills like the energy uh, the en renewable energy windmills you guys know what I'm talking about I hope um, half the time I don't even know what I'm talking about to be honest but um, yeah it, it was basically one of those things um, and that was the trailer maxed down to uh, 28 tons for only four of the bases, um, and then uh, dump three was I think it was just a 24 pounds of wax or something that I was delivering at the time. Um, but when I was doing this job to strap rust um, the last I think just over a mile of it, mile and a half I would say, the last 
mile and a half of it was genuinely, um, it was, uh, oh, how do I put it, the last mile and a half was off-road, and when I say off-road, I mean, um, oh, say off-road I literally mean the um, at one point I, I was going up a hill and I genuinely uh, had to raise the mid lift axle because the truck just wouldn't grip going up this hill because I was that heavy um, so yeah being off-road for that amount of time wasn't wasn't fun guys been a nice little uh, journey up here to Scotland. That's a view of our But um, yeah, and then uh, Dumfries wasn't too bad. I found a Starbucks that uh, the car park, or well, the way into the car park was big enough for a Class 1 HGV like this to uh, park in. So that, that was quite nice because um, um, yeah, with me and some people at Starbucks, and, yeah, just nice to have a 15 minute break on the catch up. It was uh, quite funny actually because the way I parked. Um, Basically, I backed the truck against a uh, tree, and there was this quite large branch that was sticking out and such. And basically, all I did was back the trailer against that branch. So as soon as I saw the branch move, you know, I was only inching back, like literally the slowest I could possibly go. And as soon as I saw that branch move, I was like, "Yep, that will do, mate." No damage to the uh, trailer, and uh, yeah, no damage to the truck, no damage to the tree even. So. Uh, yeah. That's what you call uh, teamwork and cooperation between the driver and the tree, I suppose, or a truck and a tree, rather. It was, um, yeah, it was good fun. And tell you what, actually, the team was quite nice as well, actually. You know, personally, I'll stick to uh, making my own. <laughs> Hour and a half left to go, so... Looks like we should be able to do this. settings are as best I can possibly get them really. Um, whereas 
I think if there was some sort of option which allowed Streamlabs to adapt the res base resolution to the same resolution that is used in the game, and holy crap, this place is awesome, um, then I, I genuinely think, hands down, Streamlabs would by far win it for me. Um, but just having a software which, um, which you know, which which is optimised for the type of graphics card I use, I, I genuinely I can't, I cannot fault it, guys. I'm afraid I really can't. So um, yeah, let me uh, let me know your thoughts because it's uh, I'm honestly at a uh, at a loss. Um, Justin is saying, yeah, definitely go with the shadow play. Uh, shadow play, brilliant. He's, he's singing it songs and praises, but I'm just so used to having uh, Streamlabs as my uh, default in terms of practicality and all that one. So, um, yeah, it, it, it'll be like a, a, a sad farewell to Streamlabs if that is the case. Well, I mean, not that I'd be particularly sad to see it gone used to its convenience, um, if anything, so, uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see what, um, we'll see what happens over the time, guys, whether I make my mind off, but, for now, this, this is literally just going to be the only video recorded with NVIDIA, um, and I hope I don't make you too bored with my ranting, I hope I don't make you too nauseous with the track I am to an end before we've even finished and it started raining. Lovely. Typical in well, I was about to say typical England there. It's typical Scotland. It's just typical UK weather. I think yeah this is us here. So we'll get the amber flashes on. We go into the yard. Chassis, white cars, what they're called. Right, I'll tell you what, guys, this will. We want to challenge, we want to see how I do with backing this up over the shoulder with my left eye. This is at the kind of painful. Oh god, this is just so weird. My eye is straining so bad right now. Oh, I'm actually getting dizzy. Just because my brain is so disorientated. That's actually crazy. That that actually made me slightly dizzy from how uh, weird that felt. All right, guys, that's us. Um, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Appreciate this. Um, I'll just pause the track I are there. Yeah, um, thank you for watching, guys. Really appreciate you. Uh, joining me on this um, like I say guys let me know your thoughts personally um, I, I'm i torn um, Streamlabs has the functionality all the like user interface and everything there whereas Shadow Play just has that sheer outright like performance that is just gives Nvidia bragging rights um, but 
I mean, that being said, this is NVIDIA's um, bread and butter graphics. So, it, it is to be expected, really. Um, whereas Streamlabs, it's more of a overall um, sort of user interface, like a hub for recording, and uh, it, it's running notifications, uh, other user overlays like your webcam full screen, you know, different video capture methods, game captures, all that sort of stuff. So, yeah. Um, let me know what you think guys, um, I'll be interested in your thoughts, I genuinely really would because I'm, I'm torn behind this. Um, I'll wait to see what happens about this whole FTC Copa YouTube shenanigans that's going on. Um, it's, in my opinion, uh, it's not the final nail, but it is a large nail in the coffin for YouTube, um, in, in, in my view anyways. Um, Obviously, gaming setup will probably be not revealed as such, but um, actually, yeah, I might do a showcase or something like that. Um, see how I see how I go along um, in December. Um, I'll probably do it more towards Christmas time. Get uh, the stuff out the way there. But uh, yeah, until then, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please, please, please let me know your thoughts and comments. Um, like the video, comment, all that sort of stuff that you re regularly do, massively appreciate it. Just gets the video out there, and, you know, more noticeable. Um, obviously, Billish55 on my Instagram and Twitch. Give those a follow if you'd be so kind, because um, again, that will start. Um, that will start getting me. Uh, that will start getting me out there as well. Twitch and streams. I aim to do now in the new year um, just due to this whole thing with NVIDIA and uh, Streamlabs got there eventually um, but uh, yeah I know I've repeated myself there a bit guys um, but it's just to summarise so uh, yeah appreciate you watching the video following me this far guys and um, until the next video uh, which will probably be SAF, guys. Um, until the next video, have fun. And, uh, yeah, take care, guys. Yeah! yeah.